got nothing to do with it. done this before yeah we did it once outside didn't we yeah I think we did a live outside no it wasn't a live I think it was our introduction video well we did a live out here too but we did do an introduction video too yeah yep we sure did so anyway here we are I'm Scott I'm Shelly we're whiskey and sunshine off grid you probably wonder if you've uh, been a subscriber of ours for a while where the hell we've been oh I swore, didn't I? <laughs> hell, it, she'll edit that out. Hell isn't a swear, it's a place. Um, so it's like where in... Yeah, we do get a lot of messages and stuff about people wanting to know why. We haven't been putting out as many videos and things. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you, it's been kind of a, been kind of a rough year. <laughs> we kind of went, uh, went dark for a little while. Yeah. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> and YouTube. Well, we just, we had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of stuff going on the end of this last winter and early this spring and uh, we both ended up getting the crud at the same time. Yeah, but before the crud, we were on track yes. for a really good productive year. We were going to yeah, get a lot had, of stuff done. We were feeling good. We had all kinds of energy. We had all <laughs> kinds of stuff that we were getting done and we had more, of course, on the list because we have such a short season to get stuff done outside that... You know, we try to get it going as soon as you have nice weather, which that didn't work out so well either. We got a lot of rain. Well, yeah, we've had we've had terrible rain for, yep. I don't know, don't believe what they tell you when they say, oh, the Northeast is hotter than it's ever been. It, I don't feel like we've even had a summer this year. I mean, it's, yeah, and it's we have a lot of days like this. The sun comes out for five or ten minutes, and then it's clouds the rest of the yep. time. So if you listen close, you might even hear our big generator running that's charging our batteries. Hopefully you can't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to make it so you couldn't. It's just it's just part of our life. We don't even think about it anymore. Yeah. So, but yeah, uh, right up until uh, the end of April, we were doing really well. Yep. And then all of a sudden, yep. what happened? <laughs> we caught the creeping crud. Yeah, we caught that nasty, nasty disease <laughs> that everybody's been getting. And I, I guess it was the second time around for us. I will say this well, time it was different. Um, yeah, we got sick. It was bad. Uh, but we were only really sick sick for a week or so. And then after that, there's just the constant no energy. We felt bad for yeah. actually months, I would say, afterwards. never. I, I didn't get my taste and smell back and stuff. As a matter of fact, it's still a little screwed up. Sometimes I, it creeps in, doesn't yeah. it? You're but, like, oh, uh, there's that smell again, or that... Between that whatever. and the lousy weather, and, uh, well, we lost a couple of our, a couple of our animals. Um, B, who was a 15-year-old Beagle Basset cross, we lost her just before we got sick, which mm -hmm. made it all the worse. I almost think that was contributing, because we were just so dragged out yeah, 15 that. years is a long time yeah that was a lot and she went she was a good a lot girl. at the end of it so it was hard um, you guys have seen her in the video she was pretty low-key she just wanted to follow yeah. us around be with us and then uh oh i don't know i don't think it was even a week after we lost her our uh our little rabbit, rabbit bun bun disappeared bun. yeah and uh, we figured something got her. I mean, you got to remember, she was free range like the chickens. And I know some of you are going to think that was 
the wrong thing to do, but before we got that rabbit, it lived in a cage in the basement. We got her here and we turned her loose and she had a couple of really great years running wild, mm -hmm. playing with the chickens. Oh, she yeah. was really great and whatever got her, I don't know, it must have been a canine like a coyote or a fox or something because she was a big rabbit. I don't see no bird carrying her off and she was definitely gone. Yeah, yeah. I like to say that she found a boyfriend out in the woods and they're living yeah. happily ever yeah. after. Well, she may have. We don't know. <laughs> she was getting more and more independent all the time. I don't think time, that so. can happen. I don't think a wild rabbit and a domesticate, domesticated no, I'm sure it rabbit doesn't, but can do that. But, um, I just like to think of how happy she was when yeah. you know she was here. and She was. We she, had a really great time with that. But it's been kind of... She ruled the homestead for the most part. Been kind of... Uh, I don't know, uh, empty feeling around here. We've got the chickens. Yeah. Yep. Everybody asks if we're going to get another dog, and <laughs> someday maybe. Not ready. We're definitely not ready yet. Yeah. Everything happened literally all at once. Yeah, because so I was taking B to the vets in the new truck. Just, I mean, it was just fresh, and I was like, well, yeah. here we go. We got dog hair. We blessed it with dog hair. Um, so but, she's uh, been to the vet a few times in that. You know, between. All of that stuff and uh, us being sick and, you know, the energy draw was quite a bit there. And we just. Uh, that took a lot. Yeah. Took a lot. I mean, we we set out to make videos and we'd sit around and charge up cameras and get everything ready. And to be honest with you, we'd fall asleep. <laughs> and when we got up, there's, there's stuff that we're doing in the videos that you see us doing. is stuff that we have to do. It's not stuff that we're doing just for the video. So uh, that stuff's going on anyway, but it's just the. It was hard at the time uh, to drag around cameras and all that stuff just to do the stuff that we knew we had to do. Just because we didn't have the energy. Keeping for it, going yeah. was hard enough, let alone video. Right. Do so, well, part of that was that it kept raining. We It would rain oh, yeah, and rain, anything. and anything we had to do outside, we had to wait until it stopped raining. We had the back steps that we wanted to do, and we were going to film that, but it rained that day that we had planned to do it. And when it stopped, we ran out and we ripped it everything. And ran back in, and then it rained again. Right. Yeah, <laughs> put it all together, and then we went back in because it rained again. Like it was, it was. It's been one of those summers where you just yeah. got to rush out and get things done in between the raindrops, and uh, so that was a pain. So we were having kind of a little low key celebration for ourselves today. Yeah. You probably see behind us. We got the smoker going. She's smoking. Yep, got a roast and a chicken stuck in that thing. Not one of our chickens. No. No. Just a regular old supermarket chicken. Yep. But uh, anyway, we wanted to do a video and kind of fill you in on what we've been up to. Uh, yeah. I no longer drive a Toyota. I'm back in a Jeep. Yeah. Happy about that. So we go for Jeep rides. Yeah, we, we have done probably. some of that. The last video that I put out, we went on a little Jeep ride with our granddaughter. She loves to buckle in the back, and we took her for a little tour around. around Two the sides area. of the National Forest one day. That was kind of fun. Yep. We can have a good lunch. Shell has developed a, she thinks, case of gout. And she's having a hard time eating beef. Any beef. That's why Oops. we got both a roast and a chicken stuck in the. Uh, smoker. I can't I eat anything salty and I can't eat beef. Like, what's the sense can't in living? can't drink alcohol. And I don't drink alcohol. What's the sense in living? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what would I the chickens do without you? What would I, I do without you? Exactly. <laughs> what would the chickens do without me? <laughs> oh, Which man. actually, I'm surprised they're behaving. I haven't heard one chicken freaking out since we've been... They've been really good. Yeah. And good chickens. So one of the reasons we try to avoid doing stuff with sound outside, because our roosters don't know what time it is, ever. Oh, they just battle it out. Battle oh, the way they're out fighting down all the time. We got two roosters. We don't have that really the heart to get rid of one. They're father and son, and the father's getting old, and the, the son's a good rooster. Well, and then we have babies. Speak ah, no, I shouldn't have said anything. Speak see. of the devil. He's like, really? Is it the devil? Are you talking about me? Well, which one is it? We got them both over there. One of them's... Uh, I think it was Yeti. It sounded he's like... He's curled up on the rock, though. So he was standing up a second ago. Sounded like a Yeti crow to me. So the babies, at least one of them is a rooster. I can pretty well 
say that for sure. And uh, out of the four, yeah. Yeti says yeah. two. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeti is our giant Brahma. white Brahma rooster. He's like six foot three. He weighs about two forty. <laughs> Don't exaggerate. <laughs> Too much. Okay, he's about three foot tall and he weighs about <laughs> 25 pounds. But he looks like he's six foot three and weighs about okay. 240. You should hear his fishing stories. You too. can hear him coming when he's running. Mm. That's why he got named Yeti. Thump, 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 thump the feet. <laughs> but that and he's white. So, anyway. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, yeah, that's what's been happening with us. And uh, we're going to get some gratuitous footage of yummy food. Gratuitous. And... <laughs> Assuming we don't burn it sitting here talking to you all. Not I mean, gratuitous. Gratuitous. <laughs> some deliciousness cooking on the grill. Hopefully. Uh, we're going to throw in some footage. You know, uh, this isn't alive, of course. This is kind of, you know, just kind of, what? They call we're them a premiere. Alive. But we're alive, yes. Thank, <laughs> thank God for that. There's been some moments when for, I wanted For a uh, while, they were like, all right, that's it. Okay. <laughs> But, um, <laughs> things are okay. I just, yeah, I just like to, you know, have one really good, fun summer. It seems like the past three or four, there's been something all the time. Yeah. We've been trying to make the best of it here. Oh yeah. Well, you got it. I mean, you got it. But definitely uh, more prioritizing what needs to get done for winter. Our little granddaughter has started school as of yesterday, which is a mind blower. What the heck? She was a baby Some yesterday. Some of you all probably remember when she was born. It wasn't too long ago. Five years. <laughs> oh, God. But. Little bugger. Can't believe it. They've seen the video of her lately. Oh, yeah. Videos. She's been here. I think she'll be running that kindergarten class in no time. Oh, yeah. She'll have them dialed in. She loves the garden, going out and getting, getting uh -oh. stuff. She helped me with uh, corn at the farmer's market she couldn't wait to get cucumbers and tomatoes like big tomatoes because i have the cherry tomatoes right now but she couldn't wait to get the big ones the kid is a tomato disposal unit and the, the cucumbers oh my gosh she loves her veggies and her fruit she likes to go out in the garden and pull them right off and eat them that's, oh yeah that's her thing we go out there for lunch that's what we have we have but. cherry <laughs> tomatoes go out for dinner yeah Let's go out to the garden for dinner. It's good. It's good for us both. Very much. Very much. So that's that's what's going on. And uh, hope everybody's doing good out there. Let us know down in the comments yeah. how you guys have been. Everybody howls for more tractor and chainsaw videos. I'm not going to tell you that we're not using them all the time because we, well, <laughs> we are, time, but it's but just yeah. it's been... It's been rather hectic. We had mm -hmm. we had uh, one week. I had to fix our driveway twice in the same week. Yeah, rain. Yeah, we get like, you know, Again. three inches of rain in a half an hour. It's not a lot you can do. You can prep for it, but yeah. even when your driveway is ditched right, you're still going to lose if uh, you get that much rain if you've got a hill. Yeah. But that's why we have a tractor. and. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we have four-wheel drives and all that stuff, chainsaws. It's just part of the package. Yep. But we will honestly try to get better at doing some more videos. We don't know what we're going to do. We'll probably do some some neat review videos. <laughs> I've got a mm -hmm. I've got a new uh, temperature monitor for the smoker that seems to be working really good. Today's the first day I'm trying it, so. I'm not one of those people that likes to uh, review it before I've even tried it, so I'm gonna we're gonna put that through its paces today, see how it works. But so far, it looks like it's gonna be a big upgrade. That's terrible. You mean we gotta cook a bunch of meat on the smoker and try it to see if it's cooking right? Well, even in the oven, That's you'll awful. be able to use it even in the oven. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh... I know, eating the mistakes. <laughs> Oh, well.
Awesome. I'm happy. Wow. That was good and flavorful. I just ate some. Very good. It's like Thanksgiving. It's like thanks a lot day. Whatever. Mmm. You put that in front of you and this in front of me and we'll Go be happy, happy as can be. <laughs> mm. Is the bird good? Yes. Can you taste the molasses and honey and shit? Not the I honey. mean, uh, maple syrup? Maple syrup, you can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fall pot. Oh, my. Hot. Yeah, I'm sorry. I took it right out of the the breast. And it ain't dry. Mm -mm. It's anything but. Wow. The plate here for you. Yep. Plate here for you. All right. So anyway, it's been great talking to you again. And uh, like I said, give us a shout back. Tell us what you want to see. You know, all we got to go by is what videos you watch so tell us what you want if you want us to never do this again well that's an option too uh, if you want us to mail you a hunk of that chicken well you know uh no i'm they not going to smoke it long enough to cure it there so. won't be any left so sorry <laughs> sorry All anyway right. once thanks. again thanks for coming out so i'm guys. scott i'm Shirley. see you bye Punched out.